Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, thanks for joining me today for another video. So Phil G3 YPQ reached out to me a while back and asked if I'd like to try a couple of his rubberscopic aerials. A rubber duck style antenna that is actually telescopic and works on both 2 meters and 70 centimeters, and everywhere in between. So I agreed and he very kindly sent me a couple over and here they are. One of the reasons I agreed to do this is because I see telescopic antennas sold on eBay and similar sites and I see a lot of people using them wrong. What people seem to forget or not actually know is that the telescopic aspect of the antenna changes the length of it and therefore the resonance on a specific band. And there are a couple of things to remember when using telescopic antennas, especially when you're transmitting. For 2 meters, they should be fully extended. In this position, the antenna makes up a quarter wave for 2 meters. For 70 centimeters, they can either be extended to create a 3 quarter wave or fully folded down for a quarter wave. So basically, fully extended for 2 meters always and either extended or folded in for 70 centimeters. You can also clip a length of wire to a slightly extended section of the front of the antenna for use with medium wave broadcast monitoring. Taking one section down will make it resonant around the marine band portion of the spectrum and taking it down further, leaving around three sections up, will make it resonant around 250 MHz where you can find satellites thousands of miles away which are used by Brazilian pirates. The antenna is really professionally made, I've got to say. I wasn't sure what to expect when I first spoke to Phil but they arrive really quickly and they feel so well made. If we compare it to a store bought antenna you can see there's really no difference whatsoever. At the time of filming, Phil is selling these for £10 or 2 for £15, which is really cheap. It can also supply rubber washers if needed and a reverse SMA connector depending on the style of radio's connector you're using it on. So make sure you check the description below for his details should you wish to purchase one. So let's go out and do some testing and see if we can make a couple of contacts or open a couple of repeaters. It's always a bit hit and miss on 2 meters and 70 centimeters around here, but we'll see if anyone's around. Hello CQ, hello CQ on 2 meters, M3 HHY Mobile, Mike 3 Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile, calling CQ on 2 and standing by for any calls, Mike 3 Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile. Okay, so there's no one there on 2 meters uh, for the time being, so what we'll do is we'll try some repeaters, um, I've got a few programs into this radio, not too many, but a few sort of all distances, so I'll put the distance on the screen below and we'll see if we can. So that's GB3HH over at Buxton and uh, we'll see if we can uh, access them and even better make a contact. M3HHY Mobile listening to GB3HH for any calls. Mike 3 Hotel Hotel Yankee Mobile. M3HHY Mobile. Mike 3 Hotel Hotel Yankee Mobile listening to GB3CR. Standing by for any calls. So there's uh, GB3CR there with a rather unusual uh, Mike logic. Mike 7 Alpha Victor Oscar. Yeah, Mike 7 Alpha Victor Oscar, I think it was. Mike 3 Hotel Hotel Yankee. This is Mike 7 Alpha Victor Oscar. This is uh, Dave, this end. Uh, back to you. Mike 7 Alpha Victor Oscar. Yeah, Mike 7 Alpha Victor Oscar M3 HHY returning. No worries, Dave, good to speak to you for the first time. I think it is. I wonder how I'm getting into the box. Back to you. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, I missed your, uh, your name there the first time round. Uh, but you, you're coming in a box fantastic. I'm in a, in a village called Kelso, about uh, 8 miles outside of Chester, uh, straight into Lake Peter. But yeah, you're, you're coming in. Uh, Five and nine, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, pretty well from Stockport side there. Yep, no worries, Dave. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this this antenna back down. Um, so I'll just let me know if there's any difference in my signal into the repeater. Just one sec. Okay, how's that, Dave? Mac three hotel hotel Yankee mobile. Mac three hotel Yankee mobile. Uh, no difference at all as far well as I'm concerned here. Uh, absolutely fantastic signal. Uh, back to you, if you can just let me know your, uh, your, your name uh, again. And, uh, uh, no problems at all this end. Uh, Mike 7, Melvin, Tosca. 
So, a great antenna there by Phil, works really well as you can see, managed to make a contact with Dave there, quite a way away, I know we were using the repeater but the repeater is quite far away from where I was, and we opened up a, another few local repeaters which is really good, it definitely works well and really feels professionally made, so go and check out the rubberscopic aerial, all the info is in the description below. It's really nice to work with other amateurs, especially when they're producing really great products like this, so thanks to Phil G3 YPQ. And thanks to you for watching. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions, drop them in the box below and I'll get back to you. And all that's left to say is 7-3. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.